What's going on everybody? I'm finally back from my holiday break and now I will do the single player commands mod tutorial for you guys. As usual, go ahead and jump into my Minecraft and show you what this mod is, what it does, the features of it. So if you guys already know what this mod does, um, you can just skip past all this part to the actual um, tutorial on how to install it when I get there. So, how do you use this mod is when you're in your world, you go ahead and just press, press T, and it'll bring up this little thing that you type into. So if you type, it'll show up there. And basically, say you want to fly. So you type in fly and hit enter. And it'll say flying now turned on. So there you go, I'm flying around. And to turn it off, you just hit fly type in fly again and it'll say flying now turned off um, another cool thing is if you type in time night it'll change it to when it's about to be nighttime and if you to time day it'll change it to daytime and now this does um, mess with the amount of days you've been in Minecraft. So if you keep doing this, your days will be completely off. Um, here's another thing. So if you do instant mine, no spaces, it'll turn instant mining on. And basically what this does is if you come over here and you can destroy blocks with one hit so if you're trying to mine through something really fast or take something down really fast that's a simple way to do it um, let's go ahead and spawn something so if you type in spawn list with a space and hit enter it'll give you a list of all the mobs that are in minecraft so what should I spawn I'm gonna spawn a villager so I'll do spawn now here's the thing you can you can either type in spawn villager or you can type in the villagers number which is 120 so you can do either spawn villager or spawn 120 so I'm just gonna do spawn villager 2 so if you type in 2 it'll give you two villagers just hit enter and here's the villagers They're just gonna walk around. They don't really do anything. So that's pretty much it. That's just the gist of it. There's a whole bunch of more features. Um, like you can give yourself items. Let me show yourself that. Um, so you do give twenty three two. This should be a dispenser. So if I hit enter, there we go. Gave me two dispensers. All right. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's just the basics of it. There's a lot more stuff you could do with this, but it would take a long time to show you all that, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. Um, so now I need to clean out my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back and I'll show you how to install this. Alright, so I will be showing you how to install this both ways, as the title does say. Um, I will be showing you how to install it the automatic way and then the manual way. So if you're going to do it the manual way, what you're going to need is WinRAR or 7-Zip, whichever archiving program you prefer to use. In this tutorial, I will be using WinRAR. And then if you're going to use the automatic way, um, you're not going to need any sort of archiving program. You're just going to download the automatic uh, file. So for these, you're going to go ahead and come to this page, which I'll put in the description. Let me go back up to the top real fast and if you go ahead and scroll down and you go to downloads um, here's the automated automated installer uh, here's all sorts of different ways uh, there's only two there's two different ways you can do it you can do direct download or if you do a preferred download that'll take you to an ad fly which is kind of annoying so I usually just do direct download so if you can do the automatic way just do just download the automatic automated installer and the classic download will be the manual way so you should do either again direct download or go through the ad fly whichever you prefer to do 
so once you download whatever you're trying to do go ahead and first off I'll show you how to do I'll show you how to do the automated wood so it should give you a jar file like this and you just click on it and open it and it'll say single player commands all this stuff um, you can back up your jar and your worlds you just click on those and it'll back them up um, and then you can just go ahead and click on install and it'll say installation was successful and you hit OK uh, and then you can go ahead and start your minecraft all that stuff so this way is super easy I tend to use this sometimes um, just because it just takes a while to do it manually so that's how you do it automatically and again I'm gonna have to clean up my minecraft jar to show you how to do this manually so I'll be back alright so now to install this the manual way after you've downloaded the single player commands file for the manual way to install it you can go ahead and come over to start type in percent app data percent just like this down here and then you can go ahead and go into your roaming go into your dot minecraft your bin left click minecraft left click your minecraft jar and do open with winrar or 7-zip whichever you're using so now take your minecraft jar and go ahead and pull that to the side now the folder with all your jar files in it we're going to go ahead and minimize that because we're going to come back to it now go ahead and open up single player commands and click on the di class hold shift and scroll all the way down and click on the no I'm sorry no 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 so click on DI class hold shift and click on the player helper class and drag just those three in to your Minecraft jar click OK because we don't we don't want to put in the readme text so now we're gonna go ahead and click on the settings class hold shift scroll all the way down and click on the world plugin and drag those in hit OK now delete made inf so left click it then right click and do delete files hit yes so there you go delete after you delete made it in for you're done with your minecraft jar you can go ahead and close that now um, and now we're gonna go ahead and scroll back over here and you should have minimized this which was your bin and bring that back up and take the world edit dot jar and drag that in and there you go that's it you're done installing this really simple to install so yeah hope this helped you guys out sorry if it was a little bit confusing at times when I was talking about the automated and then the manual so sorry if I confused you there but yeah shouldn't be too hard to install very simple nice mod adds a lot of features so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time